CDN, that's a, that's a an acronym of to be continued. And we took the logo of CDN with the Polish flag, national flag, from the walls, because people were designing as graffiti CDN. It will be continued, to be continued. The fight has to be continued. Uh, but we, we uh, our logo, because there were some other organization called CDN, which was very good for us uh, because of the uh, political police research, that they mixed, they didn't know who is who in the underground to the end. But our logo was very characteristic because it was made with fonts discovered by Janiszewski in the, in the logo Solidarność. We were using three letters from this logo with N, so independence, Niepodległość. Our logo was just abbreviation of this classical logotype by Janiszewski. Our program was very short. Two, two words, slogan. Sovietology applied. Sovietology applique. Uh, Sovietologia Stosowana. It was our, it was our political program. So sometimes we were publishing um, prose or poetry. For instance, of our famous poet Baranchak, who was professor in Harvard. Sometimes some letters from from jail by Michnik. But generally, we wanted to prepare the general public to the future. So, uh, actually, when I wrote my first essay, Freedom in the Camp, I was convinced that this break between fear and terror was not final in 79, when I was writing my essay, but we were close to, because we had in this time our own free distribution network, which could communicate future citizen society. That that's was a general general code of, of the of the of the of the text, and my position in the underground was in between. But I was this manager of of big firm, because our firm was had 150 people permanent staff, had divisions. We had as well between different publishing houses and insur uh, insurance company. So we were using regularly second-hand cars, not to lose too much. They were always registered for an innocent person, not involved in the underground. This person knew only one, the owner of the car, that when police will come to them, they will say, I don't know, the car was stolen. I don't know. And when Really, the car was kept by the police. Our insurance company, in which we were paying each month a certain amount of money, was giving us money to, 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 uh, to buy back another second-hand car to have, uh, let's say, uh, to have a regular, regular production uh, going ahead. So we, we met in this time the question of cash flow, not only the question of uh, how to make conspiracy efficient, but how to maintain cash flow, how to, uh, to protect uh, copyrights, how to connect with the West, how to connect with the authors. That's why this uh, uh, patriotic business, the history of CDN Publishing House, which appeared last year was a kind of study how without freedom, without independence, civil society well organized can promote future freedom and future organization as well of society, as economy, as, as free political life. We were financing as well two uh, reviews which were our conspiracy within conspiracy. We were publishing Godnoj, Dignity for Police, and we were publishing a review for the army, for armed forces, Reduta, the Redut. And that's how uh, we were pursued so, uh, so systematically by counter 
intelligence of regime. We were one of the biggest producers of uh, Solidarity Weekly in Mazovsha in this region. We were printing between uh, 10 to 13, I guess, thousand copies weekly to let you envision what it represents. That's the full cover of a big automobile, of a big car, the full cover, very heavy. So uh, to distribute it, we were distributing in gross only. Our latest, our smallest unit of distribution was for 500 copies because we couldn't go down, because down on this popular level, police could observe and go come from the, from the, bottom, from the bottom to the top.